Hey, what's up guys? It is DJ. Over the next couple days, we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of new Case IH mods that Connect Mining are bringing into Farming Simulator 22, including but not limited to the Magna, both of the Pumas, and a couple planters just to name a few. There's even a new map, so make sure you guys stay tuned for videos on all of those things and a few other surprises over the next few days. But today, we're talking about planters, specifically two of them, the Case IH Early Riser 3215 and the Case IH Fast Riser 6127. The Early Riser will hold 4,490 liters of seed and solid fertilizer combined. It weighs 8 tons, 200 horsepower required, 6.8 meter working width, and 9 miles an hour. We do have a couple setups for the hitch, so you can go with a uh, tall, uh, medium, almost medium, and low. It is also not a direct drill, so you will need to make sure that you have prepared the seed bed before using the seeder. And of course, your crops are corn, sunflowers, soybeans, sugar beets, and cotton. Secondly, we have the Fast Riser. This will hold 5,540 liters of seed only, weighs 17 tons, so very heavy, 240 horsepower required, 15 meter working width at nine miles an hour. It's gonna cost you $250 thousand dollars one of the nice things is it is a direct drill so you'll be able to uh sow those crops that we mentioned but you don't have to prepare the field taking a look at both of these mods we'll start with the larger version here you can see how connect money have done a super good job of making sure that everything is mega detailed all the way through and to my knowledge this is actually a collaboration between them and and Case IH. So this isn't just a, ah, let's make a little mod and uh, it'll be fine. Now, this is a, a full-fledged partnership between Connect Modding and Case IH, which is super cool. Man, these row units look awesome. You can also walk straight up the back. Well, if you're going fast enough, you could walk up straight to the back. Hey, it worked earlier. Anyway, uh, they've given you a little bit of room in order to come up here and kind of pretend a little bit to open up, uh, uh, open up the tanks or something like that. Uh, so you can roleplay a little bit with these. As for the smaller version, details going through here as well. Even the springs, look at that. You can get all the way up on the springs, man. They look so good. The row units, of course, looking beautiful. And then let's see, where is our, there it is. Can we jump up here? Hey, we can jump up here. Nothing too wild and crazy up here, but hey, still looks very nice. There are a few interesting animations that we've got with these. A couple that you would expect, like opening and closing bins. We've got that one right there. If we jump over to our other cedar right here, this one's got a few. So we can open up the back, which is our seeds, and then we can open up the front ones, which are fertilizer. However, this one also has a very interesting... Yeah, let me show you guys this. <laughs> You can put it up, but I, I I would believe this is for like storage and that kind of thing. Uh, it's it's more of like an invisible kind of thing. You can still back up to it about where you would expect it to be, grab a hold of it, put it back down when you're done. It's just kind of interesting. I think it's neat. In total, the smaller version will hold 1,090 liters of seed and 3,400 liters of solid fertilizer. And we've got ourselves a place here. Nice prepared. Let's turn it on and set them off. There you go, sounds even sound good. Man, listen to this. What a cool machine, and yeah, you'll be able to see this tractor in a few days, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. As for our larger version over here, this holds 5,540 liters of seed only, and uh, it does take a little while to unfold, so it has to kind of lower itself and then bring all the units down, and then it will start to unfold itself like this does it look good absolutely is it pulling the tractor back a little bit but it ain't too bad uh, and this will direct drill so we've got corn selected here we'll come through we will drop it down and go for it i should probably turn it on though wow there we go so interestingly seed is going in is it actually working it is working all right well it's just something with me on my end Huh. Uh, now you can kind of see where the seed's going in. All right, now we're good, we're good, we're good. This also sounds super good. Listen to this. One of the things I love about this is I feel like there's a ton of John Deere stuff out there, but when it comes to implements and things like that, there's not as much when it comes to Case IH offerings. And I love that not only Connect Modding have brought 
these mods over for Case IH fans, but uh, they're also working with Case IH Brazil with these. So we get to see some equipment that maybe a lot of us would not see uh, otherwise. So there you go. There are your uh, Case IH planters coming with, from Connect Mining. So that's it for this one. If you got any questions about these planters, please let me know down in the comment section below. Big shout out to Connect Mining for sending these over to show you guys ahead of time. And again, stay tuned for more previews from some red mods coming soon. All being said, just have a great day. See you guys later.